Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. There's this vacuform piece right here that we're going to attach to the base of the display nozzles. And we need to cut this out like uh, we did with the other vacuform wraps. Um, if yours has the little legs on them, just kind of spread them out, flatten it out. You can cut them off if they get in the way. I want it to lay flat. Okay, and we want to cut around the outside perimeter where it, the raised edge is. Uh, that will fit exactly on here. Um, so stay on the outside, cut slowly, um, try not to go all the way through. We'll bend it back like we did before and that will snap it so that we can get it out of the sheet. Okay, pause here while I cut. position of this is fairly critical. These little rectangular pieces have to go inside here because that's where the nozzles are going to be glued. The cross on the surface matches up with the cross here on the vacuform piece. What we want to do is, if yours doesn't have lines, it's one of the older kits. So go ahead and draw a line with a pencil uh, from the middle of these rectangle pieces through the, on both, end, uh, on both sides. <laughs> um, and then we want to take the lines and extend them down on the side of the tube. And then on here, we want to extend these, this middle cross piece right here. We want to extend that all the way out to the edge of the part. So we'll go ahead and, you know, this is the line that we want to be on. And then we want to position that on the tube and we want to make sure that our tick marks line up. Okay, and then hold it down and lift up an edge like this and we're going to take some of the thin super glue, need my goggles for this, to protect my eyes, and we're going to kind of paint underneath, holding down this side so that it doesn't move around. And then 
press down. And if any leaks out, just wipe it off like that and turn it around. Don't know how that got there. <laughs> That's my drink. Or you can do the same on this side. Okay, and then you want to check the outside perimeter to feel if the wrap is hanging over the edge anywhere. Mine feels pretty good, but if yours, if you feel like it's hanging over the edge, just sand it off with some fine grit sandpaper. Uh, when you sand, sand towards the tube, and that will keep the, the piece from delaminating. And then once the glue is dry, we want to turn it over like this and these little rectangles we need to cut those out so we're just going to take our sharp knife and we're going to plunge so here it is right here so we're going to have eight little rectangles that we're going to cut out. So go ahead and do that. Um, and then this part is almost ready for paint. Uh, when we paint this, we want to mask off the sides because we don't want to get any paint on the sides, um, only on um, the bottom surface.